What up guys and welcome to the division video a lot of you have been waiting for for a hot minute. This is my 1.2 PvP build guide slash overview, however you want to call it. I'm rocking 222,000 DPS, 390k toughness, 22k skill power, 3 striker, 2 sentry, savage gloves, AUG, M44. Now with 1.2, the, the meta itself is very much tanky, survivability, skill power, etc. So I'm going to be going through um, what my build is. This has worked for me very, very well. Three Striker, Two Century Savage in terms of like PVPing and PVPing against like a massive group of people. Now, there is no vicious. There is no uh, accuracy, no cunning, no astute. There's no fluff in this build. That's just something we don't want. We don't care about. It's not needed. Kind of just really like <laughs> shows off your build in the wrong light. But there's none of that here. So don't worry. Let's get that out of the way. Now, going into it, the AUG, 21% um, crit hit chance, 11.1k damage, deadly, brutal. Finally got it. Um, since 1.2, we crafted 100 AUGs, and we finally got deadly and brutal. Hits like a bitch. I love it. It's amazing. It does have predatory on here as well, which is it's not too bad. Um, if you were to sit here and ask Alfredo, what's your god tier AUG roll? 25.5 crit chance, high damage roll. Deadly, brutal, self-preserved if you have a high true crit chance and you crit damage pretty high too as well. If not, self-preserved won't really work for you. Um, fierce, which is 8% crit chance increase. Or if you wanted the most PvP of AUGs, it'd be Deadly, Brutal, Responsive. And of course, Responsive gives you the 13% increased damage within 10 meters of the target. Now my other augs would consist of uh, self-preserve, deadly, fierce, really really good combo. A lot of you guys ask me, Alfredo, deadly or brutal? Um, you guys know how PvP is. People roll around like fucking bunnies all over the place. I take deadly. It's a lot easier to just hit them in the body while they're rolling around. Um, deadly will proc for you where you hit when you're hitting them anywhere, as opposed to brutal, which it's harder but only procs when you get them in you know with the headshots. So. You have to choose between the two. If you had the same exact talents, take the deadly one. It'll, it'll proc for you more often than Bruder will during a PvP fight. Of course, ideally you'd get the, the the two, the god tier two. Super 90, deadly, brutal, um, sustained. If I was to run a sentry build, I would rather have the M70 or the SASG. Uh, MP7, really, really good gun. I just haven't gotten one that fits my play style too much. Um, deadly and responsive. And yes, I do the running and the gunning, but responsive, as great as it is, because I do jump from 39k crit damage to 79k when this is procced, I have to be within the whole 10 meters. So I can't warrant using deadly and responsive over brutal deadly. Hunting M44. Um, you take a quick look at that, and it's got Brutal, Stable, Capable. I do have another AUG here with Brutal and Skilled. So that's the weapons themselves. I even have Brutal on my pistol just because it just looks nice. It just looks really, really nice. Like, like check this out. Super 90. Bam! Look at that. That's sexy right there. All right, moving forward, moving on. Make sure it talks out. Going to Equipped Gear. Everything here is 240 except for the gloves, which are 204. You cannot get them at 240. Ideally, yes, everything would be max rolled, but I do have a stamina chest piece, which is striker at 240, exotic damage, resilience, armor, increased kill, ballistic shield, and a bond slot. That bond's going to be stamina with armor. If you were to sit here and say, Alfredo, god tier uh, chest piece, it would be stamina, armor, two mod slots, and of course, with any kind of skill attribute with my true damage and my true crit chance build, it'd be like Pulse crit chance, pulse crit damage on those skill attributes. Um, yes, so that's the chest piece. Backpack itself. One thing that's really major that I started doing with 1.2, um, I got rid of the crit chance on my backpack. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, quick little disclaimer, you're behind on this. Crit chance had a 60% soft cap. It's hard capped at 60% uh, now. You can't use Savage Gloves to get over the cap. You can't pulse over the cap. So I just, I don't need to have that much crit chance now so instead i'm putting into skill power yes bump up your skill power guys if you're not at, at least 15k you're, you're fucking up like skill power is just gonna help you survive longer your pulses are gonna hit harder um your overdose is gonna heal better like and, and more it's just 
take the hit of lowering down your DPS or toughness or whatever, add in the skill power, sit at at least 15k, that's the minimum I'll ever go. 1t is where I want to be, so I'm a little bit higher than that. Um, skill power, disrupt resistance, first aid, ally, heal, ballistic shield damage, and then the mod slot with armor and um, firearms. Uh, I do have this backpack as well. It's got lower firearm roll, lower skill power roll. It does have the pulse crit hit chance, pulse crit hit damage. I go between these two backpacks often. And I like, I'm feeling. It's like a changing your underwear, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, moving on. The mask itself, I rolled off crit chance on this too. Because I was like pretty far over the cap. Um, so we got the stamina with skill power, increased kill XP, and ballistic shield health. Um, two mod slots this also works very well. I just haven't gotten it to, to roll the way I wanted it to roll. Um, knee pads are going to be Sentry Call. It's got crit damage with armor, low XP, shock resist, enemy, armor damage, turret health, etc. etc. Um, I don't believe I have the highest armor rolls on a lot of my 240 gear, so that's why, um, you know, I'm not taking something with like. Uh, armor in a mod slot or just no crit damage in the mod slot because if i yeah if i take these knee pads i can't reach the cap unfortunately even with my high armor mods um it's just it's a little difficult because the cap is now at 75 percent for uh armor so even though we have 240 gear which has higher stat rolls you still have 10 percent you got to make up there but those are my knee pads the holster itself um Armor rolls so high on a, on a holster. So I got the armor with pulse crit hit damage. Our arm is rolled well. The stamina is a mid tier roll. And of course, the electronics is a kind of crappy roll on that. So I'm looking to bump these up a little bit. If you're going to roll off armor on anything, boys, um, do it on the knee pads. The knee pads roll lower than everything else. Um, roll for like 350, I think, max. A chest, uh, chest. <laughs> a chest piece will roll for 675. Um, a, uh, what should we call it? This guy will roll, I think, like 500 or something on the holster. So if you're going to roll off armor on anything, do it on the knee pads. That's the way to go. Gloves, you guys know this from my previous video. Gloves are so important. You've got to have, like, the perfect rolls on that. Low stamina roll, but I've got the Savage. Critical hit chance is increased by 40%. Against cover uh, targets out of cover. Um, crit damage, crit chance, SMG damage, and pulse crit hit damage. Got the rolls I wanted there. That's all the armor itself. Um, moving on to the character. 97k stamina right there. Um, I have crit chance of 30, 36%. Add on the savage. That's going to be 50%. 50% is more than good enough. That's the lowest I'll go. Especially because there's a there's a cap of like 60. The hard cap is 60 now. If I have one person pulsing for me, then, you know, I'm fine. I don't need to build up all that crit chance. 50% uh, is where my crit chance is. Crit hit damage is 193. Headshot damage is going to be 89. And then my survivability armor is, of course, max. Super important. If you don't have max armor, you're holding your team back. You're squishier than you should be gotta have max armor so important must need must have now if we're going over to abilities i like running um scrambler you know it conceals you it um especially if you're running solo if one if you if it's a 1v4 and they hit you with the uh, tactical scanner a lot of people have fluff um crit chance they have things like vicious and cunning and astute and all that kind of stuff so if you cancel their crit, they don't hit hard at all, actually. They don't crit often. Like, their, their crit chance is not that high. So, I like running Scrambler. Um, if you're to run a team, have someone with Scrambler, right? Have someone with crit, uh, with Tactical Scanner. Force them to run Scrambler, right? Uh, of course, the nice thing about Tactical Scanner, you get the crit chance increase, the crit hit damage increase, but yes. So, Scrambler is good. Tactical scanner is good. Everyone run overdose. You got to have at least one self heal. So run overdose. Uh, then run through it if you don't have much skill power. Get those two extra bars of health. Um, another option you could run vigorous chest piece with booster shot. Booster shot will give you that increase um, damage resistance and increased damage. But 
I don't know, man. It's the, the duration's a little too short. Uh, it's, duration's so short, and you don't heal as much. You'll maybe get like a bar, even with my skill power. And like with ev the t everyone being so tanky, I'd rather just be tanky myself too, along with them. Because it's, it's really hard to just kind of like DPS someone's health down. But that's another option booster shot with vigorous chest piece. I do have a two mod slot vigorous chest piece. Still, I don't like it that much. Um, immunizer was really, really good with the 1.1 meta. Still really good. You toss this down, you fight within the immunizer, you don't get shocked. But the thing is, like, people are getting smart to it. People, when they see that, automatically, like, start shooting at it. But good to have, you know, you can run it, and then if they're smart to it, then, you know, take it off. Survivor Link, still the king. That increased damage resistance for however long. It's just so good. Was it was like a shit ton of time. Duration like 15 seconds. It's just a shit ton of time. Take this, have it. Then, you know, of, of course, increased speed's really good as well. Um, shock turret, we never run it. Uh, every once in a while, we'll have one person run it. And that, that's simply for crowd control. When it's like 4v10 plus. Can't, can't blame us for that one, you know. They got how many survivor links over us? They got how much special ammo over us? So, shock turret. Um, only, only when you're like completely overwhelmed manhunt in a server will I ever justify that. Um, sticky bomb. Flashbang is really, really good to have. Have at least one person with this. With everyone being so tanky, everyone healing with overdose and having also their med kit. Hitting them with a the flashbang will... Um, you know, disrupt them, not allow them to use their abilities. So it's really, really powerful. I see a lot of people using um, a smart cover now. Uh, it's not too bad. You got to really, really stick to the cover though. Um, if someone is using smart cover against you, don't just blindly charge them. Toss nades at them. Get them out of it. You know, flashbang them and whatnot. Talents, um, combat medic. This will allow me to use my med kit and heal pretty much full health instantly. Um... On the move, kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 30% for 10 seconds is really good. I still use one as none. Um, it can give you a gun jam, but it doesn't proc. It doesn't gun jam for me like often at all. Maybe like one in 20. So still worth having. Headshot a hostile to have a 50% chance of not consuming the bullet. Pretty important. Get extra ammo. Um, in terms of that, the most important ability to run now is triage. Heal an ally with a skill to reduce. Um, you know, cooldowns by 15%. This is huge. The top tier like teams are going to be using this because simply you touch your heel on the ground. Yes, start tossing your heels on the ground. It will last longer. Don't just pop it and like be an asshole like and self heal yourself. Toss on the ground. Tell your team to run through it. Have triage. Your abilities will come back so much quicker. You can flashbang more often. You can pulse more often, etc., etc. Use triage. The whole team needs to be running triage. Trust me, it's beneficial. You'll know when an opposing team is doing it because they're tossing their heels on the ground. They're tossing it in one big pile and then running through it back and forth. That team, yeah, they're going to be like having a couple bars of health over you the entire fight, not to mention having like spamming their abilities. So. Be smart, use grenades, whatever you need to do to kind of disrupt their triage thing. That's what we do all the time. No one really contests it, which is kind of stupid because then like, you know, someone else tossed their heels down. I help them get their abilities back quicker and I get two bars of health because of my overdose. So why wouldn't I do that? You know what I mean? Start prioritizing running through your teammates' health pulls and uh, trust me, it's just, just this huge. It's just huge, guys. This is one of the things you really got to implement into the way you play with um in pvp in the, the division and that's the abilities that's the weapons that's the equipped gear that's everything man that's the character info breakdown all of it this is my build i love it i hit hard um yeah i really i run with this first and i force the server to use special ammo which doesn't take much <laughs> and i force the server to use sticky bombs against me and once i find that they have good aim with special ammo or that they have really powerful sticky bombs, then I'll slot in two pieces of final measure, which is that 50% exotic resilience. And then from there, it pretty much like, you know, pretty much renders explosive rounds and, and sticky bombs useless. So I run this until I'm forced to use final measure. That's the way I, uh, I run things. That's my mentality behind it. What's my ideal goal here? Um, 
with my build it would be 250 dps 400k toughness 20k skill power how would i get here um how would i get there um it would simply be having higher stamina rolls on um my gear and that way instead of running stamina mods i could run um a couple skill power mods and then that way once i run those couple skill power mods i would re re-roll crit chance on my mask right and then that would bring up my dps and then of course having something like brutal deadly and not sustained like fierce would help bump up my dps there as well and i feel like with five percent more crit chance having something like fierce a little bit higher crit chance roll on the aug itself that will get me to 250 dps higher stamina rolls that will get me to 400k toughness and then of course being able to slot in those uh, electronic mods will get to my 40k skill power after i lose the electronics on my mass so that'd be 250 400k 20k that would be like we made it <laughs> like no need to do anything else like that's that's the the build that i want that great to have um all right guys that's it man um at this point i'm prepping for the first expansion that's coming out I think it's June 28th, so I'm going to be saving up my credits, as you can see there. I'm trying to get like two, three mil credits. DZ funds, I was at like two mil. I just buy them to like get weapon parts and whatnot to craft my 100 augs. But now I have to be deli, so I'm saving up DZ funds there. Phoenix credits, I'm always at cap. I have nothing to buy with them anymore. But those are some of the numbers that I'm prepping for the new expansion. If you guys have any questions... Hit me up. I'm streaming every single night on Twitch. Or you can reach me on Twitter um, at Alfredo Plays. Leave a comment down below. I want to know what your guys' build looks like. Please don't tell me you have accuracy or vicious or cutting or astute. Let me know what your build looks like. Like true, true build. And what, what gear set you're running with. You know what I mean? Let me know. I'd like to know. I love like looking at different people's uh, gear pieces and whatnot. It's very entertaining to me. But guys, thank you. I know you guys have been waiting for this, and here it is. I just didn't want to get one out earlier because I was like, there's so many different gear sets, and like I want to make sure, like there's a standard that my builds live up to because you guys expect so much of the builds, and I expect so much of my build too. But yes, this looks good enough now to be able to make a video. Leave a like if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and make sure to share this, man, so I can make, make keep making videos like this. Uh, I've got a stream to do, and I'll catch you guys later. Good night.